Well, it's been very, very tough in, in consumer book publishing for, for many, many years now, and it's actually recently got tougher. So it's never been, it's recently anyway, a high margin business. Um, uh, the, the, there's always been the issues of, of um, getting it through to booksellers. Um, now, it, the, the issue over recent years is that many of the book retailers have actually gone into administration. So people aren't buying physical books in the way that they used to. So Borders was a big one in America. So you've got the problem of your, your retail channel going out of business. And then you've got the problem that the new channel where people are buying books is, is uh, basically e-books, so obviously Amazon, Kindle, and, and, and many others. Um, and you don't get as much money back for an electronic copy of a book sold as you would from a physical book. Um, and also, the, the, the other problem is that the, 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 e, the people like Amazon have incredible negotiating power. So they're huge, huge retailers, a lot of marketing power, a lot of negotiating power. It means that if you're on the publishing side of the business, you don't have as much power versus the bigger guys like Amazon. So they've been taking some big hits. Now, the, the combined group, Penguin Random House, I kind of think they mix, missed a trick here. It should have been called the Random Penguin House, Absolutely. shouldn't it? But um, it's, it's a significant because it's the first, uh, first dealer among the big six, at least. But um, is it a good deal? I mean, who gets what? I mean, is it a, is it a nice relationship? It is. It does seem to be a pretty good deal. I mean, they've, they've both got some very uh, good roster of authors. Um, obviously, Random House has been doing somewhat better than the others because it had the phenomenally successful Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. Mm. And that has just broken absolutely all records. And when publishers do get a big hit, when Bloomsbury had Harry Potter, for example, that kept them in huge profit for a while. And now they don't have any more Harry Potters. That's been a problem for them. So somewhat the hits business, but also they're strong in different geographies as well. Okay. Yes or no? Can we see more consolidation? Absolutely expect to see more consolidation in this sector.